The first edition of Business Icon Awards 2022 was organized by Outlook Business Spotlight on 25th November 2022 at a gala ceremony in Hyderabad. An initiative to recognize and celebrate excellence in business innovation, creativity and leadership. The awards were appropriately themed India Inc. The Next Big Leap. It's been a long journey for me today. Trust me, I drove all the way from Roorkee into Delhi and flew from Delhi to here and then I again dashed down to here. That reflects how important I felt was to come and receive this award from Outlook uh, Business Magazine. I turned an entrepreneur when I turned 40. Uh, people said it's too late. I said never too late. There are other people who are role models who turned entrepreneurs even at 60. So never think it's late, go back home, start thinking about it, saying, what am I here for? Purpose of life is what I keep asking people. Why am I here for? And there's this very famous poem called, from Linda Ellis called The Dash. And if some of you have read, when we start disappearing from the world, finally what happens is there's a tombstone. And the tombstone has a name, date of birth, date of death, and there's a dash in between. If you look at whatever is written on the tombstone is not under your control. You don't get named, you don't know date of birth, you don't control the date of birth, you don't get the date of disappearance. What you control is the dash. That's your contribution. So go home and think about being an entrepreneur. Thank you very much. Next was a panel discussion titled Creating Sustainable Businesses, a case for ESG. So my first question is that, do you think that ESG is perhaps uh, not a choice anymore? It's a necessity? Various esteemed speakers deliberated on the topic, which was moderated by Outlook's business editor, Suchetna Ray. For her path-breaking performance in the recent Telugu blockbuster, Sita Ramam, actress Mrunal Thakur was felicitated at the event. She also had a fireside chat with Outlook's first woman editor, Chinky Sinha. Who's a heroine in Bollywood? Because you've made a lot of statements about, you know, how you had a broad face, how, you know, body shaming happens. So who is a heroine and has anything changed, kind of? First of all, I'm a big fan of yours. I've, I've watched multiple videos and TED Talk. Oh. And you're very inspiring. <laughs> so who is the perfect heroine? Yeah. That's the question that's been bothering me ever since I entered this industry. Uh, what kept bothering me was also, what is a hit film? Yeah. Uh, body shaming, trust me, I got body shamed two days ago. I went home and I ended up eating one packet of chips and then went to the gym and I worked out for an hour and a half. I mean, yeah for that. <laughs> yeah, and today I think I want to to be the real me, I want to be myself and I want to promote that to the youth out there because I don't want to set uh, standards or aims and goals where people end up on, you know, being an, on a crash diet. Um, for me, nothing is perfect. Like sometimes even when it comes to acting, when it comes to playing a character, to be raw, to be vulnerable, to be unaware of who you are itself makes you the best. So I think uh, according to me the best was Smita Patilji. Uh, she was way ahead of her time and we really miss her. I wish she was here today. I'm sure she would be rocking and be the number one heroine even today. She's my Meryl. Who is an Indian woman that you want to play? I mean, it's uh, difficult to know now because, you know, there's so much of this. Uh, Bollywood also is perpetuating the film industry, for instance, like these fake beauty standards or age uh, thing, you know, and there's a, there's a lot of that trolling that happens. Like, look at Madhuri Dixit, or even you, like two days ago, you were wearing this black dress and you completely got trolled. How do you, like, uh, have these mechanisms to kind of cope with it? And yeah. What is this Indian woman? You know, the team, uh, my family, they're always there. They told, and they know how hard I work. And uh, we kind of get used to it that, yes, I will be body shamed no matter what. Um, but an answer to that thing, somebody, a woman only mentioned about my uh, love handles popping. And I just said that I post on my handle what I love. And I love my love handles. So what's the matter with you? You should appreciate that. Um, but having said that, 
लोगों का काम है कहना आप बस अपना अच्छा काम करते हैं बस ये रियली रियली डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज यू नो इट जस्ट अफेक्ट्स यू सो आई मीन देर अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल हु हैव कैन वो स्पोकन अबाउट इट एंड हैज एनीथिंग चेंज दो लाइक इज इट चेंजिंग डू यू थिंक फ्रॉम वेयर वी सेट वी डोंट सी मच चेंज यू नो दिस स्टिल दैट होल no there's still a lot of changes that needs to be made but having said that i just in my head say this person is not doing well <laughs> let's give that person some time to heal because it's very uh, easy to troll someone sitting on social networking sites rather i in fact went back to the accounts who trolled me and the same lady who, uh, who trolled me uh, did not uh, wear a blouse because she was scared about she wore a t-shirt and a sari which was not draped right uh, i could have said nasty things but that's not me in fact i felt like she looked beautiful i think i i hope you're watching this i think you look beautiful and this one comment can really uh, ruin someone's mental state of mind you know the state of yeah. mind so uh, let's anyway the world is going through so many things the covid has happened um, there's war happening and there's a lot of things that's happening so i think my agenda and my aim every day is to make at least 10 people happy or smile trust me it's the most difficult thing and is there still like a shelf life to heroines you know as they used to have uh, or things have changed or how do you like you you entered the industry very young in at 20 i suppose right and then it's been like quite a journey and uh, you know now you are kind of like 10 years maybe and then do you think there is still that tag or do you think things have changed or are changing is there things are changing and i'm really happy it's you audience because of you all things are changing it's because you guys demand women centric films there have been you know and earlier it was a shelf life of an actress maybe from say uh 20 18 years old to 27 30 that's it and then she would get uh maa ka role or you yeah. know bhabhi ka role but i also get disappointed when actresses who are younger than the hero end up doing the role of you know their mother um things are changing but it hasn't changed completely uh ott platforms have given platforms for women out there to be themselves yeah, you know they don't need to look younger they don't need to look older they just can be themselves so um i think uh, audience plays a important role because you know they demand content they we have to Uh, yeah, it's yeah. pretty much. No, I mean uh, it's true that I mean a lot of Bollywood looks the same now because everybody has the same kind of stylist, everything. So there must be something different, right? So let's say somebody like you, how would you make that uh, change or uh, you know anything that uh, because everybody is kind of like in the same direction now. So somebody as fresh you comes in and yeah. I think we sh- I should just stick to the roots, and uh, there are. I'm sure you guys would agree with me. Um, there are a lot of voices in the background. Yeah. Do this, it will work. Do that, it will work. Listen to them. Im- see if it works out. If it doesn't, be authentic. I think one of the reason why everybody has, you know, um, aced in whatever field they belong to is because they were themselves. They were authentic. They are, and I think whatever is authentic is rare. Yeah, I think that's. Yeah. That's the problem because today we live in a 24-hour, you know, uh, social media, social media life. bubble. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone wants to copy. Everyone wants to be a part of the trend. But what, what if you be the trendsetter? And I think uh, with me, I feel like I need to be true to myself, be authentic, uh, and rare. It's my dream to be known as a versatile actress. And my last question is, what is that dream role that you would want to do? Anything like, and your favorite actor. uh somebody or maybe a writer or something you know that that you want the story that you would like to do or maybe write or something you know uh, when i was little i used to uh, i used to get very excited when on uh, dd national when there was you know kalpana chawla's interview yeah. or anything about her about the uh, the space and you know i would i would really get so excited uh i wanted to be an astronaut not one day but i realized there's a lot of hard work that needs to be done but acting is also a lot of hard work <laughs> yes but you know i have a role model to uh, mm-hmm. to study to follow uh, and that's one dream role that i want to do oh my god what a journey that would have been like sometimes i sit in an aircraft and i look down and i'm like wow i'm in an aircraft imagine what it would be when i'm like in the space so would you like to do like her ca- like character on screen or something have you always 
have you ever thought about that or something uh, any one character yes um, you know i feel like circus is kind of disappeared yeah and uh, i i don't know uh, um, but not i was to not get happy when there were animals involved only when there was no, a no, show. No, now they have been banned <laughs> yeah yeah but there were shows you know when they the the, uh, the the yeah it was so beautiful and i would like to do something uh, something period, something vintage um, that would also have our Indian culture and there's a lot of costume drama. Um, yeah, and I would love to work with Rajamoli, sir. Thank you, and uh, we'll come out with a circus issue and we'll ask you to curate it for us also. <laughs>
Innovative Brand of the Year, the next category, and DISYS won the award. For the category, Innovative Company of the Year 2022, Avery Limited won the award. IT Services of the Year was the next category and Coempt EduTech was the winner. In the category Product of the Year, Bharuwa Solutions was the winner. In the category Product of the Year, Millet Chikki was the winner. In the same category, Radhe Constructions was announced the winner. In the category Software Brand of the Year, Softtech Engineers won the award. The next category was Software Company of the Year and Perfios won the award. In the special category, Excellence in Service and Claims, Sriya Insurance Brokers was the winner. The next category was Startup of the Year and Live in India was the winner. In the category Startup of the Year, the award went to WatchYourHealth.com. In the category Startup of the Year in Logistics, Zippa World Innovation won the award. The next category was Tech Startup CEO of the Year 22 and Samson David from Sirocco won the award. In the category The Best Emerging IT Company of the Year, HSO India was the winner. CEO of the year went to Umish Sahai, founder and chairman, EFC India. In the same category, Amit Gosain from Kone Elevators India also won the award. Krishna Dodikari from Unirak Solar India NLP was also one of the winners in the category CEO of the year. Krishna Sudhindra from UST Global won the award in the same category, CEO of the Year. In the category, Company of the Year, Allied Blenders and Distillers won the award. The next award in the category, Company of the Year went to ASBL. CG Logistics also won the award in the same category, Company of the Year. Signity Technologies was the next to be awarded in the category, Company of the Year. EOS Globe was the next winner in the category, Company of the Year. The next awardee in the same category, Company of the Year was GUS Education India. The next awardee was Nocturnal Network in the Company of the Year category. Online PSP Loans won the award in the same category, Company of the Year. Continuing in the same category, the next awardee was Phantom Digital Effects Limited. The next award in the same category went to Ratnadeep Retail Private Limited. RMZ Corp won the award in the same category, Company of the Year. Last but not the least, it was time for the Lifetime Achievement Award and the award went to Mr. BVR Mohan Reddy, Founder and Chairman of CN. The guest of honour for the evening was Principal Secretary in the Telangana Government, Mr. Jayesh Ranjan, who also happens to be one of the pillars of strength behind Hyderabad's growth story. First of all, congratulate. Outlook and Outlook Business for uh, instituting these awards 
for uh, honoring all of you. My heartfelt congratulations to everyone. I know many of you, and I really feel very proud when you came up and collected your awards. It also shows the strength of the entrepreneurial ecosystem in our country, in our state. And as I said, I really feel very, very proud for all your achievements. The only thing which I would like to mention here is that, as you know, things have changed dramatically. The entire doing business, that landscape has transformed, has got disrupted majorly in the last few years, particularly because of the geopolitical situations, because of the pandemic, particularly also because of Government of India's policies towards becoming more pro-business, state, like, state like ours, which are also at the cutting edge of introducing reforms, business-friendly reforms. I'm sure all of, you do will, all of you will continue to do more. Good wishes and congratulations once again. And uh, thank you, Outlook, Outlook Business, for this event. This evening was also a celebration of India's resilience through tough times. The curtains were drawn on the first edition of the Business Icons Awards 2022 with a pledge that the awardees would not keep the schemes brought by the government as mere schemes, but work upon them to take India's growth story forward.